It's now time for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Now, academic work at Oete KKMA Primary School is affected during the rainy season due to the absence of a bridge on the Laloy Lagoon. Teachers want a bridge constructed to facilitate easy movement of pupils. The school is sandwiched between Pram Pram and then Pum. And you will have to travel about three kilometers from Pum to Poete, or five kilometers from Pram Pram to Poete. And the problem is when you get to the shore, there are two water bodies there, the sea and then a lagoon. Sometimes they meet, so it cuts off access routes to Pum. Since its establishment in 1984, the Poate KKMA Primary School in the Tungkatamansu Municipality of the Greater Accra Region has had problems with tidal waves and flooding. The Lalue Lagoon separates Tung from Poete, meaning teachers, pupils and residents have to use canoes, sometimes without life jackets, to cross over. To avoid crossing the lagoon, the teachers and pupils have to travel through Pram Pram to reach the community at a higher cost. Many a time when the sea and then the lagoon come together, it becomes extremely difficult to go through that route. So any teacher or any officer that wants to go to Poete will have to take a very long route through Dowenya, Pram Pram before you reach. And the road to the place, especially from Pram Pram to Poete, is very, very bad. We followed up with the municipal chief executive of Tungkatamanso on the situation at Poete. If the stream has entered the sea, it means they have to cross by boat and they have a lot of constraints when we want to link up. We wanted to open up the big bridge from Pohia that links Pram Pram. Uh, we want to take hold of the Pon side. We are having a joint appeal, Ningo Pram Pram and Pong Katamanso, to have the one on the stream to link, which it takes five minutes to drive to Pram Pram. Then going through the heavy traffic through Bombaria, Dowenya before you drive a whole lot of time going to Pram Pram. We believe when we are able to fix that bridge, it will, it will open up the transport system. It will even change the socio-economic dynamics of the people. Previously, lack of teachers and adequate classrooms in the school compelled many parents to withdraw their wards to schools in Pram Pram and Poon. But the Municipal Assembly and Education Directorate stepped in to provide an accommodation for teachers. With a current population of less than 100 and a staff strength of seven, the headmaster of the school is unhappy about enrollment. We try to convince parents to bring their children to the school, but all proved future. And the children are in the community, but we are still trying other means to get the children back to the school. That is not the only challenge in the school. The school is also in dire need of a kindergarten block since kindergarten class is currently occupying class one. Meanwhile, due to the school being close to the shore, most of the ICT equipment donated by church are not functioning. Despite these challenges, school authorities are hopeful students would excel to make an impact in society someday. Now, more children are getting an education in the Punkatamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region. Though the increase in enrollment is good news, there's a challenge as the situation has led to congestion affecting quality teaching and learning. The mission team was at the Bichele in the uh, Punkatamansu municipality and has come through with this report. If you enter some of the classrooms, you can't be there for more than 10 minutes. The heat is unbearable and concentration among pupils is low. But the teachers here at the Bechile KKMA No. 2 KG Primary School are trying to make the best out of the situation. About 97 pupils are crammed in one classroom with only one teacher who has to move intermittently out of the classroom to receive fresh air.
our municipal has the highest number of private schools. We have almost 380, but the public schools are less than 60. So if they can increase the number of public schools, they are really scattered. You get one here, you move far. If you go to Bechile, the whole of the Bechile community, including Kakasunaka and its environs, we have only one Bechile school. See, so if we can get another school, because people who walk for long distances, that is another difficulty. Between Bechile and Apollonia, there is no school. So you can imagine, they walk very, very far. Even we are compelled to make the junior high school also a shift school. The situation could have been different if this Gets Fund project had been completed. The building behind me belongs to the Bechile Primary and Junior High School. We understand for the past six years, this Gets Fund project has stalled. When completed, this would solve the numerous challenges that the school is confronted with. We sought answers from the municipal chief executive. When you work with trusted people, you always see success. It is a contractor who came to us and we negotiate and we went through the process. In the Bechley, the contractor came to me. He want iron rod. He went there, they gave him all the conditions. He never come back because I believe he is having a different thing in his mind. But we are ready to assist the contractors to the local manufacturers. We have cement companies here. We have iron rod companies here. We have the timber market within our municipality. Any building material needed, we can guarantee for a contractor. But you must sign a contract with us to your clients that whenever the, your monies are due, they will write a joint check. And some cannot come because they don't want to do what we feel is the best way to enhance their performance. That is not the only challenge in the school. The science laboratory has been taken over by the police who are currently using the facility which pupils previously used for their science practicals. At the Gina High School section, some teachers have their staff common room outside. Lack of fencing in the school makes it prone to theft. Weeks ago, some persons broke into the Gina High School section of the school and made away with some school materials for teaching and learning. Authorities are hopeful the Get Fun project will be completed quickly to solve the congestion problem the school is grappling with. And that's all for Mission Tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UKA and the EU.